spirits. I feel so fancy with my little it gin. We're spending the next two weeks in Europe. I'm so excited. We're gonna go see some absolutely crazy things. And of course, I'm filming it all for Vlogmas. If you guys remember, earlier this year, I tried out Emirates first class experience, but I've actually heard the Air France is better. So today we're gonna put that to the test. Well, actually, I'm gonna put that to the test. You're gonna be an economy. Yeah. All right, subscribe if you want to, and let's go to the airport, because we're late. Glam in the Air France Le Premier Lounge. So I go to the airport, I check in for my flight, and the lady immediately escorts me to skip the entire security line, cutting people off. They were not happy about it. I don't blame them. I wouldn't have been either. Um, and then she took me right to the lounge, and then they're gonna take me from the lounge directly to the plane when it's time to board. So, honestly, that alone was worth $10,000. Yep. Anyways, I just ordered some dinner. It is complimentary because that is the experience you get when you're paying that much for a plane ticket. I got some fancy type of beef and a plated cheese. And then I might just go for the dessert platter later. I'll keep you updated, but I'm really excited to get on the plane and see what the seat looks like. I took one last sip of my free wine, said goodbye to my boyfriend, and boarded the plane. There's a baby right next to me. The first class seat is absolutely massive. I think it's actually bigger than the one on Emirates and I have pretty short legs, so I couldn't even reach the other end. There is literally no leg room. <sighs> so uncomfy. The guy next to me smells so bad. <sighs> it's gonna be such a long flight. There's a bunch of different compartments for you to store your stuff. And then there's a little touchscreen remote that you can actually pull out and play with like a Game Boy. You can play different games on it. You can select your movies. It had a bunch of Christmas movies. That made me really happy. We get this nice little pillow and blanket. And then they gave me a complimentary bag of some goodies. I've never heard of this product line before, but I'm sure it's really good if it's in first class. Intense anti-aging cream, a pen. I feel like people love to give complimentary pens. Oh, sick. And there's a comb. And some free headphones. Let's go. Right off the bat, this has been an incredible experience. Honestly, I've actually preferred this over Emirates so far. I just ordered my dinner and some dessert, so I'm gonna eat a little bit and then probably get some more free champagne. This is so nice. I wonder how Justice is doing. Their skincare products and nice little towels. It's so cute. The tribute is so bad right when I choose to wash my face. They give you pajamas, slippers, a super crazy nice eye mask. This is the nicest eye mask I've ever seen. And then there's a dinner menu. Unlike Emirates, it's not a restaurant in the sky. You can't order whenever you want. So you just order your meal at the beginning of the flight and then they give you dinner and breakfast service. I'm not super sure what this is. I decided to get some sleep because it was already around three in the morning. Everyone else was around me sleeping and I did not want to wake them by filming a YouTube video. So we're landing in about 30 minutes. I got about three hours of sleep. So I'm probably gonna pass out when I get to the hotel. So how was the flight? The flight sucked, okay. <laughs> the food is gross. I had no leg room. The guy next to me smelled bad. Maybe it was you that But smelled. I'm happy to see you. Aww. Yeah. I am so tired, but here is my air. Flance. France. Flance. France. Clearly tired. Honestly, I really wanted to like Air France better, but I'm gonna go with Emirates on this one. Man, Emirates was just an experience from beginning to end. It was absolutely beautiful. You could eat almost anything. There was a menu of options where you could order any time. They gave you a shower. There was just a lot more flexibility with it, but 
Something really cool about Air France is they arrange your transportation for you. They take you to skip the TSA line. They take you to a private lounge with a really good chef. So they definitely both have their pluses and advantages. Either way, they were both 10 out of 10 experiences. Air France was a 10 out of 10 experience. I feel extremely honored and grateful to be able to have even gone on either of these flights, let alone both. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. But we are officially in Paris. I am so excited. And that means the next video is taking the Orient Express to Venice. All right. You have made it through every single one of your worst days. You are stronger than you think. Bye guys, I'll see you in a couple days.